there's two reasons as to why ladies struggle to get back on track after the holidays. All right, now, in today's live video, I'm going to go through those two reasons why people struggle to get back on track and the things that you need to focus on in order to get back to some normality and start to lose weight, whether that be, you know, whatever those goals may be, whether you want to lose 20, 30, 40, 50, or even 100 pounds plus, and of course, lower your A1C in the process and, you know, eventually achieve remission and get off meds. For life. Now, before we go, those of you that are new here, my name is Chris Vikins and I am a type 2 diabetic specialist. My area of expertise is helping ladies just like you lose weight, lower your A1C and again, achieve remission. We're saying how to get back on track after the holidays, but what we're about to talk about actually refers to many other things too. Not just, you know, right now we're discussing Christmas and New Year, right? But this also applies to I don't know, Thanksgiving or going on vacation or any other period of time where you've been eating more than you normally would and you're wanting to get back on track and start to, you know, lose weight and again, lower the A1C. So two reasons. First of all, you need to forgive yourself. You need to stop beating yourself up and thinking that, you've failed or telling yourself that you've failed and kind of catastrophizing the whole situation. You haven't failed. You haven't ruined anything. There's no need from this point onwards for you to beat yourself up. Give yourself some grace because if you don't, there's going to be that negative internal dialogue. What's wrong with me? I can't do this. I've failed. What do you think you're going to continue to do whilst all of those negative internal dialogues continue. You're going to continue to snowball out of control. You're going to spiral out of control because all of the time that you are telling yourself, what's wrong with me? I can't do this. I have failed. You are going to continue to make poor choices that are in line with that. You are going to continue to sabotage and beat yourself up by making poor choices if you do not forgive yourself and give yourself grace. Okay, Christmas and New Year, you ate too much. Yeah, so did I. I didn't actually, in my mind, I didn't eat too much. I enjoyed myself. I indulged and I enjoyed it. That's what I like to do at Christmas. That's partly what Christmas is for, seeing loved ones, eating nice food and celebrating. A lot of the time, unfortunately, that does require food. And yes, you're probably going to eat more than what you normally would. But it's been two weeks or a week or 10 days. It doesn't matter. That is entirely insignificant in the scope of the rest of your life. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Stop making it matter. Give yourself grace and move on. That's the first thing. Whether it's Christmas, New Year, your birthday, Thanksgiving or a vacation or any other period where you have eaten more than what you would normally, you know, want to eat. Give yourself grace. Stop beating yourself up. Because if you don't, you aren't going to be able to get back on track. You won't get back on track until you do that. That's the first thing. Give yourself grace. Forgive yourself. The second thing is, and you've heard me talk about this so many times. The more that you try to change, the less that you change. Stop trying to get your life and turn it upside down. Stop trying to create this overwhelming, unsustainable, miserable approach. The more that you try to change, the less that you change. You're going to make it entirely overwhelming and, again, unsustainable, and you're not going to stick to it. You're going to set a bunch of goals You're only going to do two or three of them, and then you're going to go back to what we were just talking about, beating yourself up, feeling like you have failed because you have not done what you said you were going to do. Stop. Stop trying to change too much. Get one, two, or three things maximum. Maximum, right? Take your lunch to work. Go on a five-minute walk on your lunch break. Done. That's it. Take your lunch to work. Go on a five-minute walk on your lunch break. That's it. Right. It could be as subtle as that. And that's 
I could give you 100 examples. Going to bed 15 minutes earlier, turning the TV off 15 minutes earlier, drinking an extra two glasses of water, right? There's so many different things you could do which are going to yield a positive result or a positive outcome. Stop trying to change too much at once. You're going to create a miserable approach that you do not stick to. And again, we're going to be back at square one where you're beating yourself up. You're feeling negative about yourself. You're struggling with confidence because you didn't do what you said you were going to do. I'm not surprised. You tried to change everything. <laughs> it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. So stop it. <laughs> From this point onwards, new year, you're not going to create any overwhelming, unsustainable approaches. That's it. Just keep it simple. Forgive yourself. Keep it simple. Did you find that helpful? If you did, comment helpful down below. I'll speak to you soon.